Hey, what is up, guys? I uh, wanted to do something a little different today. We're going to do a top five. Very original, I know. But uh, it's going to be my top five favorite games from the PS5 and the PS4. So uh, let's get into it. So starting off our list at number five is uh, going to be Minecraft, which may seem like an odd spot for Minecraft to be in, considering the games that I've already showed on that are on the list. Um, but Minecraft just hasn't hit the same since it first came out on console, which is where I played majority of it. And... Um, yeah, it's it's just hasn't been the same. But what you're seeing right now is a uh, a world that I've played on since right before the Nether update came out. I couldn't tell you what update that was, but yeah, I've been playing on this world since then and um it it's fun to go back to sometimes. Like I've done all this stuff recently that I'm showing like this museum, all the ores and stuff. But I don't know if I'll ever finish it because I just get burned out really quick on Minecraft. I love the game, love the game, but it's just not what it used to be. Um, yeah, I don't know. It, it's, it's just not as good as the other games on this list that I would much rather play. So, uh, yeah. This might come as a shock to some of you, but... At number four, we have Fortnite, specifically the Battle Royale, which is what I've played the most of the past five years, probably out of any game. And I'm putting it at number four because, like Minecraft, it is not what it used to be. Um, it, it, it doesn't even feel like what Fortnite used to be. There's hammers. It doesn't even look the same. Like, look at the water. It it moves where you move. It never did that. You're able to swim. There are cars. There's animals. All this crazy stuff. And it's just not what the game used to be. It used to be a fun, sort of simplistic game where you would build and you would shoot people. Now you've got to worry about hammers, people cranking 90s, all of that. But... It, the game is fun to a certain extent, but I don't know. It, it's it's just very different. It's a different beast. It's a different breed. But don't get me wrong. The I think the best improvement in the game is that it looks like a completely different game with the Unreal Engine. This last chapter, it's it just looks completely gorgeous. But um. I think number four is a fitting spot for Fortnite in my top five games list. And coming in at number three, I'm kind of just lumping all of the 2K games together, except for WWE 2K20. I don't like that game. It was awful. But uh, th this is the only one I could record footage for, which is WWE 2K22. And... um. For the better part of my life, I have watched wrestling. I grew up with professional wrestling. And of course, I play. I've played almost all of the video games that have come out for WWE. And I, it doesn't matter really how much the game sucks or if it's good, I will play the absolute shit out of it. <laughs> um. 2K22 especially was a big bounce back for the WWE games from 2K20. Um, graphics improved, gameplay was rebuilt from the ground up, and now next month we're getting 2K23. I've already pre-ordered it. It looks great, and it'll probably be lumped in with this group of video games. I just think that... Uh, the WWE games are a bit middle of the ground in terms of video games out there that I've played. So, uh, yeah, this is a nice middle-of-the-road spot for them. And uh, I can't wait to play the new one next month.
And coming in at our number two spot is kind of a curveball, I would assume, for other people. Oh, there's me dying. We'll leave it at. <laughs> um, number th two is Far Cry 5. And uh, this is honestly one of my favorite and best games I have ever played. I have heard people talk trash about this game for years, and I never understood why. I think it is a near-perfect game. Uh, the story is great. The The villains are great. Jacob, John, Joseph, and Faith Seed. Just incredible. And I, I think the gameplay is great. Amazing vehicles, amazing guns. Um, right now, I, I am uh, doing a... New Game Plus playthrough on the hardest difficulty. And, uh, this is the... John boss battle. I've played this game like three times through and I can't remember his name. But, I it is one of my favorite games. I love playing through it every time. I never get bored with it. Um, I, I, could, play, I could play only this game for the rest of my life and I would still enjoy it. I would find new things to do, find new fun stuff. Um, yeah, it's just incredible. Incredible. Like, I tried playing the other Far Cry games. Like, I tried playing Far Cry 6, Far Cry 4, Far Cry 3. I, I know people say Far Cry 3 is the best Far Cry, but I just don't get the same feel as this game. Because this whole cult taking over a county in Montana, saying the world is ending, having this feeling of impending doom. You don't get that with the other games. It's it's so different, and I love it so much. I love this game with all of my heart. And um, it would be my number one if the number one pick I have didn't exist, but... Yeah, this game is just insanely good. If you haven't played it, if you've avoided it because people have said that it's terrible, they are wrong. It is so worth playing. Um, it, it, it's just so good. And um, yeah, it is number two on my favorites list. And of course, at number one on my favorite games on the PS5 and the PS4, it is the one and only Call of Duty Black Ops 3. My favorite Call of Duty. There you go. That might be a hot take, but Black Ops 3, in my opinion, is one of the best Call of Duties of all time. Major props and hats off to zombies in this game, which carried the whole game campaign was ugh. multiplayer was whatever i thought it was fun zombies was perfect it is the best zombies to date in a call of duty game it is unmatched black ops 2 who cares that game that game zombies mid mid as hell i'm saying it black ops 3 had the best zombies in any call of duty game look at this you could be a tentacle monster a tentacle monster. It was insane. It was an insane time to be a Call of Duty fan. And it's one of my favorite games of all time. It's one of the best. And, um... Yeah, just... Just banger after banger, honestly. With zombies in this game. Started off with Shadows of Evil. Amazing. Then we had a remake of Doris with The Giant, which is on screen right now. Beautiful. It is a beautiful game, honestly. It, it is a game from 2015, and it looks like it was made today. It looks great. It looks great for a 2015 game. Um, it, it's just insane what this game has done for me as a person. It, it's it changed my life, honestly. That's not me just saying that to make the game sound good. It is one of my favorite games of all time. It's why I've kind of stuck with zombies, hoping that we'd get a Black Ops 3 Part 2, hoping to get something this good again. It is yet to happen. But this game, it, it, it was one of my favorites. So many good memories. 
and especially these zombies maps. I was on vacation for this one, Garad Krovi. It takes place in, oh my god, <sighs> Stalingrad in, yeah, Stalingrad in Russia. And it's a fucking zombies map with dragons flying around. Dragons, you could ride a dragon. And I remember I was on vacation when this came out. And I was using Beach House Wi-Fi to download the game and play with my friends. It was like 2 a.m. and I definitely woke up everyone in the house. But that doesn't matter. Because it was so much fun being able to stay up with my friends and play a masterpiece like this day one. And I've never been that excited for a Call of Duty Zombies map again. And then here's one of my favorites, uh, Revelations. It, insane. You start off with a giant mutant gummy worm eating the Pack-a-Punch. When, when, when does that happen in a Zombies game? It, it doesn't. It doesn't. It doesn't happen. It won't happen again. It was a one-time thing. You experience that for the first time. Magical. Magical. And, um... Yeah, it was it, it was an insane time to be a Zombies fan. And then, of course, on top of that, there was Zombies Chronicles. We got remakes of Origins, uh, Shangri-La, Kino der Toten, Knock der Toten. It was, it was insane. Um, so, yeah, this game is one of my favorites. Definitely my favorite right now. It, it could change. It could change. There could be an, a better Zombies game out there. But, uh... For now, this is my number one pick, and I uh, I hope you guys enjoyed. I, I I wanted to do something a little different. I know I've been uploading those little Fortnite montages for like a minute or so, but I wanted to do a, a lengthier video for you guys. So um, I hope you enjoyed. If you have any suggestions for videos that you want me to do, please let me know. If you have any disagreements on this list, also let me know. I will happily tell you why you're wrong. I mean, I mean, I will argue in a civil manner why you're still wrong. But, um, thank you guys for watching, and I will, uh, I'll see you in the next one. Peace.